Good evening and welcome. You're watching News Our Agenda. I'm Padma Jha Joshi. The political game for power in Pakistan will be played till the last ball. It seems embattled, abandoned, yet belligerent. Imran Khan today came out and made an almost an hour-long speech. The gist of which was that he will not quit until the time that he is sent out kicking and screaming. 42 minutes long. That's how long his address was. Imran Khan listed his achievements, slammed his opponents, called them three stooges, even alleged a foreign hand behind trying to effect a regime change. Of course, there was that overarching victim card. He put up a brave face, but he said, I am the real Pakistani and the sellouts who are forcing me to leave, I want the country. I want the citizens of Pakistan to watch their faces on Sunday. When I was in the government, I said that the foreign policy of the foreign policy will be for Pakistan. We will not make any foreign foreign policy that will be better for anyone else, but we will not reach our country. It was not against anyone. It was not anti-American or anti-European. एंटी इंडियन भी नहीं थी ये अब कौम ने फैसला करना है कि क्या ये जो वोट होनी है संडे को इसमें कौन किधर जाएगा मुझे लोगों ने किसी ने कहा जी वो इमरान खान आप रिजाइन कर दें मैं रिजाइन कर दूं मैं जो मेरे साथ क्रिकेट खेलते थे वो सारी दुनिया 20 साल जो मैं खेली है आखिरी गेंद तक मैं मुकाबला करता हूं मैं कभी हार जिंदगी में नहीं मानी मैं तो वोट का जो भी रिजल्ट हो जाए आप देखेंगे कि मैं तो उसके बाद और ज्यादा तकड़ा होकर सामने आऊंगा जो भी रिजल्ट हो मैं ये देखना चाहता हूं उस दिन ये मैं चाहता हूं मेरी सारी कौम देखे कि कौन जाके अपने जमीर का सौदा करेगा वहां हम जमहूरियत के अंदर लोग रिजाइन करते हैं लोग तब नहीं करते कि जब आप देखें कि 20-25 करोड़ पे आपको ऑफर हो रहा है और आप चले जाएं और वो पैसा जो पहली चोरी का पैसा जिसे खरीदा जा रहा है लोगों को सारी कौम के सामने ये हो रहा है वो जगह बनी हुई है जिधर मैरियट के अंदर या सिंध हाउस के अंदर ये तमाशा चल रहा है सारी कौम के सामने ओके लेट्स गो स्ट्रेट अक्रॉस टू मतीन हैदर ज्वाइनिंग आज लाइफ फ्रॉम इस्लामाबाद After listening to Imran Khan, is it safe to say, Mateen Heather, that on Sunday he will be voted out and he's accepted it? Yes, uh, this is correct. Uh, the Prime Minister Imran Khan uh, finally decided not to compromise, not to surrender. And uh, he said uh, that on Sunday the counting on no confidence motion is expected to take place. And he put the entire case uh, before Pakistani nation and said Pakistani nation has to decide uh, about those who are conspiring uh, with, the, uh, with the foreign powers and conspiring to topple his elected government. He openly today named the United States of America that it was U.S. officials uh, whose uh, communication was communicated to a letter of Pakistani ambassador, uh, and then that letter was discussed. He put the entire case before Pakistani nation and put a question to Pakistani nation that whether Pakistani nation would accept such people, such evidence, and uh, he uh, again explained various foreign policy options. Okay. And he also said that if he wanted to pursue the independent foreign policy, and which was not acceptable, to certain powers, and he didn't want it to mention the, the United States name, but he, so today he openly mentioned that it was U.S. communication uh, which was made to Pakistani investors to the U.S. to which the message was communicated to Pakistan that uh, independent foreign policy which was being pursued by his government should be compromised. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Heather, for joining us. I think it's more or less clear now that Imran Khan has also accepted, realized, conceded that Sunday is going to be the last day for him in office. The numbers well and truly stacked against him. However, is he going to be jailed after that or will he just be deposed? We'll be keeping a close watch for the timing. Thank you very much for joining us.